Hey guys, welcome back to Year of the Demons. Now we're going to be reviewing Demon 6 this month, which is also known as Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat, which I'm not really sure why it's called that. It's a very tenuous connection to being called the Black Cat, but I will get to that in a moment. First, I just want to start off and say that this was probably my least favorite, and I have the least amount to say about this movie, because it's kind of bad. And I hate saying that, but it... Ugh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, now, the back of this DVD said... Comes over a top meta shocker about a production company filming a new sequel to one of 70s Italian horror's best-known classics. And me, the genius that I am, assumed that The Black Cat would be a sequel to a famous Italian classic called The Black Cat by Lucio Fulci. So I watched that movie to get ready for this movie, and after starting this movie I realized it has nothing to do with it whatsoever. Plus, the Fulci movie was released in the 80s, so I, I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I'm not going to review that other Black Cat, because I didn't really care for that one either. But we're on Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cat. Why they're even using his name to market this, I don't know. So, backstory going on here. It's about a production company, as the back of the DVD implied, um, that is going to be trying to make a, another movie. Now, when we start, they are filming a adaptation of The Black Cat. And that is the connection to The Black Cat, is that that first movie that they're filming is based on Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat. However, they frequently forget about that, and we never go back to the set of that movie, because instead, we learn about the main actress's husband, who is like a writer and trying to get a movie produced, called De Profundis, which means Out of the Depths, and it's supposed to be the third Suspiria movie. So, um, just a little bit of backstory, Suspiria was Dario Argento's probably most famous film, and he made a sequel to it called uh, The Inferno, I believe. And sorry about that weird jump cut right there, because that was literally me looking and making sure it's called Inferno, and it is because I'm always right. So, that was the first two movies that Dario Argento made was in something he called a Three Mothers trilogy. Now, I'm not going to be going into that, because this is technically not part of it. Um, later on, in the 2000s, Dario Argento finished his trilogy by releasing um, Mother of Tears. And I'm not even going to look that up because I know I'm right. Um, but this movie came out in 1989, uh, directed by L Luigi Cosi, which I'll talk about him in a moment. Um, anyways, it came out in 1989, and it was the ma movie they're making is sort of a sequel to Suspiria, so it's kind of like con um, finishing up that uh, Three Mothers trilogy. And this one's actually about the Mother of Tears, Lavana. Um, so, I, I've seen Mother of Tears before. I'm not sure if it's really anything like this at all. It's really just kind of taking um, what the book Suspiria is based on and just going in a totally different direction with it. That's not even related at all, even tangently. Um, so this movie kind of does its own thing. And I just don't like it. Um, so, was all that backstory behind, uh, Luigi, Luigi Cozy was, uh, I, I learned in the bonus features, was actually offered to direct the third in the Three Mothers trilogy. However, because he had such a clo close relationship with Dario Argento, he didn't really want to step on his shoes, there was a lot of respect there, so instead he reworked it so they are making a movie based on the third in that trilogy, and they accidentally awaken the real Lavana, um, the Mother of Tears. I don't have much to say about this movie because it is pretty poor effects that's lit pretty well. Um, some of its computer effects was like um, random flashes of light and whatnot. It's it's bad. It's just awful looking. The, the whole movie just kind of looks and feels like garbage. And like the, the voice acting, for example. Obviously, like it was, it was filmed in English, but like most Italian movies, they decided to... Uh, kind of dub everything in post, and they never do a good job at it. So the ADR on this movie is, it's kind of like in that uncanny valley. Like it's so close that it just feels a tad bit off, and that's even more unsettling than if it was just poorly done. Um, and there's like some good kills in it. There's some f good, uh, uh, well, first of all, one good kill. Like, Levana kind of like makes a girl explode. Like, her guts just kind of like shoot out of her body after her face started bleeding. Um, they're not really clear of what she can and can't do. 
The makeup effects kind of look pretty good for a bit, like the actual makeup of Levana looks pretty creepy, I'll throw up a picture of it, but it's it doesn't look great, and again, there's no demons, in case you're wondering about this demons movie, nothing at all. I don't even know why I'm doing this series at this point, because there are no demons in here. But I digress, we're talking about the black cat. There's kind of some very, like, gooey scenes, like, there. I can't tell you how many times, like, just goo comes out of people's mouths or splatters on someone, and it's always multicolored. Uh, there is, like, a killer soundtrack that I think is too good for the movie that it's in. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of, like, uh, as the subtitle said, dramatic heavy metal music blaring in your face every time a little thing happens on screen. And in case if I haven't really gone into the plot enough, because it feels like I've been doing this review for at least half an hour, after they, like, think of, like, oh, I want to make this movie, and they tell, like, her wife about it, she's going to be the lead, and she starts to, like, get visions of Levana and sort of become possessed by her, but, like, everyone around her also kind of weird things kind of happen. I, w I don't want to quite say possessed, but a lot of people are influenced by her. Di people dying all, all around. It's a fun experience if you love garbage, but even if you love garbage, it is awful. The real kind of crazy stuff happens when the uh, writer and his partner try to take this movie to a producer, and it is some of the most overacting I've ever seen. Like, this producer guy, like, chews every square inch of the scenery while he's on screen, and it is glorious, but not quite glorious enough to recommend the movie. Uh, the ending is also just awful. There's so many times where it feels like they just kind of changed things in post. They just kind of dubbed over a line that clearly wasn't supposed to say that, or they just had some b-roll footage and just kind of put some exposition over it with people talking, and it just becomes very sloppy and not even acted too well. One actor that actress that I did think was pretty good was Caroline Mon Monroe, who was big in like the 70s and 80s horror movies. She was the, the lead girl in Maniac, so that was definitely a plus scene, like a familiar face. But besides that, boy, I really think this movie should be forgotten. Just kind of, Same as like Demons 5, like in hindsight, Demons 5 and 6, there's a reason that they're not actively available and in people's co like collective consciousness because they weren't good movies, and the only reason I am talking about them is because they're called Demons in the title for some weird marketing reason. And again, why it's called The Black Cat, I don't know. Uh, I like the title Demon 6 Deep Profundus more, because it's the title of the movie that they're trying to make, not the movie that they see them making in the beginning that, again, had even nothing to do with the Black Cat. As you can tell, I'm very salty about this whole thing with the Black Cat, because it has nothing to do with it, and I wasted two hours of my life watching the first movie. That's not really the first movie. I am rambling at this point because I have nothing good to say about the Black Cat. So, um, if you guys take anything away from this review, just know that you should not watch this movie if you're trying to complete your demons viewing habits like me. Um, now, if you like Luigi Cozy, it, it might be up your alley. He has movies that are kind of in that. This is pretty bad, but a little entertaining at the same time. It's just very over the top, which is there's definitely a niche for it. But again, it just didn't hit me right. I cannot recommend this movie really to anyone. Uh, well, I guess you'll have to wait until the next month. I believe we're going to be doing Demon 7, which is also known as the Dark Tower, and again, not that Dark Tower, this Dark Tower. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be any good, but boy, are my fingers crossed. See you guys next month.